going to get you one of the things that causes you to die. We're going to get you one of the things, my brother. What's your name, bro? Is that again? Charles. Charles. My brother Charles. Go ahead, Rick. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. You hear that, brother Charles? God says, because you are an Israelite, you are the temple of God. You understand that? You are the temple of God. Good, good. Huh? Who wrote it? Uh, uh, Peter. Okay, we're going to get Peter. We're going to come back to it. So your question is, who wrote the Bible? Good question. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 20. To answer your question, Brother Charles. Knowing this verse, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Uh -huh. For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man. Oh, so it wasn't according to man. Man did not write this Bible outside of the spirit of God. Understand? Read on. But holy man. But what kind of man? Holy man. Read on. Of God. Uh-huh. Spake as they were moved by what? By the Holy Ghost. So you understand that, my brother? That's who wrote the Bible. Holy man of God that that the Most High was dealing with at that specific time. Right. Who he made in the prophets to lead the children of Israel. Right. That's who wrote the Bible. You understand? Right. Now go back to that in Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Hold on. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Brother Charles and Brother Joe, you too, you are the temple of God. We need y'all to understand that. God needs y'all to understand that. Read on. And that the Spirit of God uh -huh. dwelleth in you. And God's Spirit, He lives in you. God's Spirit lives in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, if any one of us defiles God's temple, meaning these bodies that we are renting out, right? If any one of us defiles God's temple, right, Brother Charles' body, Brother Joe body, everybody's out here, right? Read on. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God what? God destroy. So God will destroy you if you continue to defile your temple. Whoa. So my brother Charles, I, I, you're my brother. I have to tell you this. Give me a minute. Right now, with that cigarette, or uh, the cigar, you're defiling your temple. Now, if I didn't care about you, guess what? I'm going to let you keep smoking. If I, if I ain't give a damn about my brothers out here, right? If I ain't care about your salvation, I'm going to tell you, ignore them brothers and come and go. All right, keep smoking. Even though it might be killing you slowly, keep, keep smoking. That's what I would say to you if I hated you. But guess what? I don't hate you. I got love for all my people. Y'all right. are Israelites according to the Bible. So I am commanded to tell you that and tell you you have to repent. You right. got to stop smoking those cigars. Right. You got to stop smoking those cigarettes. Black and mouth, sweet, whatever it is you do to defile your temple. Go ahead and read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Now let's show what I just did right now. Go ahead and read Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Y'all too, y'all my brothers. We are commanded, we are commanded to not hate each other. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke. You what? Rebuke. What does that word mean? Rebuke. It means to correct. We shall in any wise correct. Read on. Rebuke thy neighbor. You are our neighbor. You are our people. So it's our job to correct you. I have to tell you, my brother, to put down a cigar. It ain't doing you no good, my brother. It's killing you slowly. God commands you to stop smoking, right? That's a commandment of God. Remember, for the wages of sin is death. And what is smoking? You defiling your body, right? As your brother, I got to tell you that. Why? Because when Christ returns to kill everybody that's not killing, I mean, uh, keeping his commandment, guess what? I want him to save you, my brother. Right. I want him to save my brother Joe. Right. 
Right, but he's not going to do it if you don't repent. Right. Y'all celebrate holidays at all? Christmas? No Christmas? <laughs> they got some good questions, though. Okay, what's your question? Right yeah, I don't know. What about, hold on. What about you, my brother? Christmas? Christmas? Yeah, I do. Give me that real quick. Then we're going to answer your question, all right? Christmas. All right, so it's, it's Christmas according to God. It's not. So when it comes to holidays, American holidays, what are we to do with them? They try to get rid of them. Throw it all in the garbage. Throw the whole thing away. All right, that's what we ought to do with them. All right, Christmas has nothing to do with Christ. All right, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 4. Uh huh. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, uh -huh. O house of Israel. Let's talk about Brother Joe and his people, okay, the house of Israel, so called blacks and Hispanics, we don't. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. learn not the way of the heathen. So guess what? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, all of those days are the ways of the heathen. God right. said, don't learn those things. Right. Know? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, uh -huh. for the heathen are dismayed at them. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh, what? Are vain. The customs of the people, those pagan holidays are what? Are vain. Read on. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. All right, so it's getting specific. One did what? Cut of the tree out of the forest. You hear that, Brother Joe? What holiday is that talking about? Read on, we gonna get it. Read on. The work of the hands of the workmen uh -huh. with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They deck it or decorated that tree that you cut down with what? They deck it with silver and with gold. Let's talk about Christmas. They deck it with silver and with gold. Read on. They fasten it with nails and with hammers. Uh -huh. Let it move not. They are upright as the palm tree. Uh -huh. They speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for right. they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. All right. right. So, so you understand. In the beginning of that verse, it said, learn not the way of the heathen. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Oh, my.